Hello everybody, I'm Rusty. I want to welcome you to Island Breeze Tropicals. So today we're going to be talking about mini bromeliads. So you know what? The sun is shining, the island breeze is blowing. It's time that you and I got growing. Come on, let's have some fun and let's talk about minis. So what makes a bromeliad a mini? Well, the best way to show you is to do a size comparison. Now this is a Bilbergia pyramidalis. We showed you this a week or so ago. And you can see the size of it. I'm gonna put it up there so you can see. And now I'm going to show you a full size mini. And this is uh, a Neoregilia and it's called Ampulacea, and I'm going to bring it right next to this plant. And as you can see, it is so much smaller. Now again, this is its adult size. This will not get any larger. This is a full-size plant. So one of the reasons I like minis so much is that they're so versatile, especially if you don't live in a frost-free zone like I do, and you want to take your plants out during the summer and spring and have them on your patio or your deck or by your swimming pool. You can do that with these Neos, but here's the neat thing. When you've got a plant that is only this big, it's so easy to find a place for this inside. It doesn't take up a whole lot of space. It has beautiful color to it, and they're really, really easy to grow. Now, what I'm going to be showing you, mostly Neoregilias. There are other genera that have got minis. You should look into that. This, again, is a Neoregilia ampulacea, and it's named because of the rosette. Let's bring it around here, where the rosette uh, looks like an ampule. And just like with all bromeliads, they come in all sorts of different colors. This has that beautiful pink blush on it. Now this is still considered to be a mini. As you can see, uh, the rosette is somewhat larger than the Ampulacea. And this one is called Melantodonta. This is a close-up of Neoregilia Melantodonta. It has some nice color to it. Um, this still does classify as a mini, but it's getting to the size um, where we're just about at the outside range. And you can get an idea as to the size by looking at the pot. That's a six inch azalea pot that it's in. So as you can see, this is not a huge bromeliad. So oftentimes you will be able to find minis that are soliniferous, and as you can see, uh, this is another Neo, and this is perfect for a hanging basket or putting on a piece of driftwood. And as you can see, the rosettes are not all that big. And even with this large clump, I'm gonna turn this around, you can get a better idea for it like this. Even a large clump like this um, does not take up a whole lot of space. You can grow them just like this, just like any Stoloniferous bromeliad. Uh, you can just put water in the cup. They will be really, really happy. And you can also take this in during the winter if you do not live in a frost-free zone. So one of the things that makes minis so easy to grow and so versatile is that you can do so many things with them. You can install them on pieces of wood. This is Mopani wood from Africa. It's very rot resistant. And as you can see, it's on a hanger and it takes up hardly any space at all. Eventually this will pop more and you'll have uh, a larger grouping of plants. But you can put this anywhere. And if you live uh, somewhere other than in a frost free zone, you can take this uh, inside very very easily and it won't take up a whole lot of space you can put it near a window hang it uh, somewhere near where it will get light and it will be happy throughout the winter and then you can take it back outside uh, when all danger of frost and freeze is over now here in Florida I can grow this on my deck full time and um, I have a lot of them in the shade house as well and they just grow happily just like this and it takes up no space at all. So another way that you can grow minis 
um, is to put them in uh, hanging baskets or in hanging pots. Now this is Palsiflora. You can see that this is really made for hanging. Palsiflora is a Neoregilia. It's a species. You can find that somewhere in Brazil. We did a video not too long ago on that. You might want to take a look at it. Um, I would classify this as being a mini, um, but it probably is at about the upper range in size that I would classify it, but it's still small enough that it will fit into some really nice spaces. And if you live in a place that is not frost free, you can hang it outside and then you can bring it inside during the winter, which is one of the great things about growing these mini bromeliads. And because of their size, you can put them in decorative pots. So we did a video on this before about decorative pots and if you watch that you will see that all you have to do is grow your mini bromeliad in a six inch plastic azalea pot and then you put it oops let's come on over here and then you can put it um, in your decorative pot it dresses it up a little bit looks nice on tables on your deck or patio and again you can take this inside during the winter if you don't live in florida or in a frost free zone and it won't take up a whole lot of space and will still look nice on your table. So even though this isn't really decorative, it does hide the uh, azalea pot quite well. And it's not a bad way to display your bromeliads. Again, it's not as pretty as some of the decorative pots that you can find, but it works in a pinch. And because this is a mini, it just fits right in there very, very well. Now granted, minis are smaller so they may not have the impact that you want but there's a way around that too and you can grow them in a mass planting like this now yes it takes up a little bit more space but look at that nice grouping of this plant and then look at this now this does make a statement and you don't have to have a great big bromeliad in order to do it now granted this is a lot of bromeliads in here it's been growing for quite a while but as you can see this does make quite a statement whether these are minis or not so talk about an impact look at all of these mini bromeliads growing in this one 10 inch pan and take a look look at all that color i would say that their smaller size makes these mini bromeliads really really versatile you can grow them in larger pots you can put them on uh, driftwood, uh, you can grow them on trees, you can put them in hanging baskets. They just about fit in everywhere. So okay guys, that's it. I hope you enjoyed learning about mini bromeliads. Their size makes them very versatile. They fit into really small places. They can brighten up a room or your deck or your patio and they're really, really easy to grow. So no matter where you are, I hope your sun is shining. I hope you have an island breeze blowing. I know that you need to keep growing. Have lots of fun. Thanks for stopping by, and we'll see you next time.